Each morning, before darkness turns to dawn, an elite detail of Marines assemble 47 stair steps below ground level. That's where we had all of our instruments that we used to help prepare us for the funerals that day. We were the last people to let them down to their final resting place. The last to let you down. I love that motto. Here, in a pipe-infested corner of a concrete garage, the Marines train up to six hours a day for their solemn and somber duty. The body bear is somebody that is just a selfless person that goes out to Arlington to bury their brothers and sisters and to represent the Marine Corps, represent just honor, courage, commitment. I would definitely say it was definitely a calling. A full scholarship to Georgia State is what called Alex Vendura to football in 2010. But the redshirt freshman defensive end lasted just one year before deciding to follow his heart. By kind of turning away a full scholarship, I mean, you kind of have to be silly to be like, no, thank you, I'd rather go into the military. <laughs> but uh, honestly, that's kind of how I felt. You wanted to be a Marine? I wanted to be a Marine, yes, sir. My mom about killed me. She said, if you can make it pass through me, then you can go to the recruiter. Vendura made it past his mom through boot camp and eventually to that Marine barracks garage in 2013, where six out of 10 volunteers failed to complete the grueling, sometimes year-long body bearers training. Cement-filled garbage cans, curls, squats, and much more. All of it prep work to lift caskets weighing as much as 800 pounds. It was the hardest thing that I have ever done in my life. It's 24-7, it does not stop, and it's mental, physical. For the body bearers, it was, I pray tomorrow is the day that I graduate from this. Um, you had no idea of when it was gonna end. Stand up. The training we do is pretty barbaric. It's definitely not for everybody. I'd say mentally, we look for people that understand what their job is, able to flip the switch, have that maturity to them. Only those Marines who survive the program are allowed to wear the black and gold workout uniforms of the body bearers. But their true test comes while wearing their dress blues at Arlington National Cemetery. If you ever look at a video of us doing our job, our faces are completely still, we show no emotion. We breathe through our noses through the entire time. It does not matter how far the distance is. Alex was a good body bearer because he understood what his job was, and that was to honor the families that have sacrificed, the Marines that have sacrificed. They only get one funeral, and we have to be out there to do it right. I wanted to be there to help shine light on this person that I'm doing this ceremony for. Kind of wanted it to be a celebration for them and what they've accomplished. In our hallway, which is very special to us, there's a big plaque with uh, funeral count numbers. Alex is at 500. Vendura's first funeral as a body bearer was for a Marine Corporal from the Vietnam War. His last funeral took place three years later on August 6, 2016. He remembers each of them, and he will never forget the sacred grounds of Arlington National. To me, it was beautiful. It's so calming. So much history and, and so much sacrifice. I couldn't have picked a better place to work. After leaving the Marines, the 6'5", 260-pound Findura later found a new home and a new team. Division II Bloomsburg University in central Pennsylvania. A lot of joy and excitement came over me when I got into this locker room. You know, I wanted to throw on those pads and remember what it felt like to get smacked around the, down there in the trenches. He enjoys it because he appreciates it more, and I think that's a great example of getting a second chance and taking advantage of it. It was pretty awesome to play with someone who's done something bigger than the game for this country so we can be able to play this game. For Fendura, once a Marine, always a Marine, in life, and in death. I would definitely want 
the body bearers at the time to do my service. I might not know who they are, but they'll still be my brothers. And I wouldn't want anybody else to do it but them.